China is drilling a hole more than 11 kilometers deep. By wanting to dig the second largest hole in the world, which will also be the largest in the country, China wishes, once again, to be a leader in technological and scientific terms. But what are the exact reasons? Why is China trying to dig such a big hole? What are its objectives, but also the challenges of this type of project? We'll explain everything to you in this video. The work is taking place in the Taklamakan Desert, the second largest dune desert in the world. It is located in the Shijiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, in the northwest of the country. As you might expect, the location of the hole is important, but we'll explain to you a little later why this desert was chosen. With its 11,100 meters, it will not be the largest hole in the world, but it will be the largest in China. For comparison, it is deeper than the height of Everest. For this, the drilling will cross more than 10 continental strata and reach layers dating back to the Cretaceous period of the planet. This period is known to end with a collision of Earth with a meteorite, which led to the disappearance of dinosaurs. This stratum is therefore between 145 million and 66 million years old. But the well could even reach much older rocks of Cambrian age and dating back more than 500 million years. Amazing, isn't it? Drilling began in June 2023, and it's expected to last 457 days and cost several hundred million dollars. During the entire duration of the project, more than 2,000 tons of equipment and machinery will be used. China explains this project for two main reasons. Firstly, like many other countries, the Middle Kingdom wishes to reduce its dependence on imports of ores, metals, and hydrocarbons, and thus become more autonomous. This drilling will therefore make it possible to find several extremely useful raw materials. In the case of China, it will mainly be oil and gas. But why is it located so deep in the earth? In fact, oil and other fossil organic materials are formed in the earth over millions of years by a complex geological process. Initially, there is an accumulation of organic materials that are rich in carbon. Over time, new layers of mineral sediments accumulate on top of organic matter. The pressure as well as the heat then become stronger and stronger, which causes the organic materials to transform into a substance called kerogen, which little by little turns into hydrocarbons, thanks to a chemical transformation process called pyrolysis. Of course, it takes millions of years though. Hydrocarbon deposits are usually at depths of less than 5,000 meters, but those at extreme depths are usually found in marine areas such as the oceans, where the layers of rocks and sediments are thicker, but also in certain terrestrial areas, such as deep sedimentary basins. In China, it is Sinopec that deals with this type of work. Its full name is the China Petroleum and Chemical Corporation. You should know that the company is not at its first attempt. Indeed, it has already completed several wells of more than 8,000 meters in this region of Northwest China. The particularity of this place is that it shelters the Taklamakan Desert, also called the Sea of Death. It extends over 337,000 square miles, an area greater than that of the equator. It is nestled in a depression caught between two mountain massifs, the Tian Shan Massif, the Kunlun Cordillera, and the Tibet Plateau. This region is mainly inhabited by Uyghurs, but in recent years, the population of Han has been increasing a lot. The Taklamakan Desert is the second largest quicksand desert in the world. It is also known for being rich in energy resources, especially oil and natural gas. This is why China has invested heavily in the exploration of this desert. But this is not its only advantage. Indeed, the Taklamakan Desert has other important utilities for the Chinese state. For example, it is located on the Silk Road, connecting China with the rest of the world. Despite its arid appearance, some parts of the Taklamakan Desert have been made fertile thanks to excellent irrigation systems. Cotton production is particularly important. In addition, China is trying to attract tourists to diversify its economy. As we said before, Sinopec has already drilled several holes in the region. For example, we could talk about the Taurim oil well, which is located at a depth of more than 9,000 meters. It is currently the largest and deepest oil field in the country. However, the new project of the Middle Kingdom will not be the deepest hole ever made by man. Indeed, the Kala well, which is located in Russia, has been drilled to a depth of 12,262 meters. Dug in 1989, it took 20 years for it to reach 12 kilometers. Here, the objective was purely scientific. The goal was to reach the Moho Ravage discontinuity, aka Moho, which marks the boundary between the Earth's crust and mantle. During the drilling, the scientists then learned that the continental crust was much thicker than expected. Reaching the Moho then became a real technical challenge. Faced with high pressures and high temperatures, it was decided to put an end to the project. 
According to China, even if the main objective of digging an 11 kilometer hole is the recovery of oil and gas, it is also scientific. It should not be forgotten that this initiative comes at a time when the country is taking important steps in its consolidation as a world technological and scientific power. For example, on the day the work began, the Chinese state sent three astronauts to its orbiting space station. The final goal here is to set foot on the moon by 2030. And in our case, Sinopec has declared that it wants to push the limits of depth when it comes to geological exploration. In fact, this project is part of the Deep Earth Exploration Program, led by Chinese President Xi Jinping. It is part of one of the greatest scientific objectives of the country. The others are Deep Sea, with the exploration of the oceans, Deep Blue, with the development of information technologies, and with Deep Space, for the exploration of space. Liu Xiaogang, a representative of the China National Petroleum Corporation, or the CMPC, said that the project will serve to strengthen PetroChina's technological capabilities in deep excavation and the manufacture of new machines. To affirm these words, the Chilean geophysicist Christian Farias, director of civil engineering and geology at the Catholic University of Temuco, spoke of very interesting facts. Indeed, he told BBC Mundo, to study the 10 kilometers closest to the surface, we usually use other techniques, such as seismic and other types of tomography. These types of projects are very useful because they provide physical evidence to support the research. He adds that the project makes it possible to test the latest technological advances, which could open a very interesting era of exploration. The scientific objective is therefore mainly to understand the nature and the geological evolution of this desert. While it took about 20 years to form the largest hole in the world, Sinoplec plans to drill this well in just 447 days, or in just over a year. But as you might suspect, it might not be as easy as that, especially since even without this time constraint, China will surely face important technical and technological challenges due to the difficult underground conditions, such as high pressures and extreme temperatures. In addition, the stability of the hole is also a major challenge. Indeed, according to Sun Jin Sheng, a scientist at the Chinese Academy of Engineering, to the Zhuwa News Agency, the difficulty of constructing this drilling project is equivalent to driving a large truck on two thin steel cables. You should know that drilling such a large hole is already difficult in itself, but the particularity of the Taklamaka Desert is its extreme temperatures. Indeed, they vary between negative 20 degrees Celsius in winter and 40 degrees Celsius in the summer. It is therefore clear that this project aims to highlight the country in terms of technological and scientific advances, but China also wants to derive greater financial independence from it. The Middle Kingdom has been focusing on innovation and progress for several years now, it also demonstrates the country's willingness to reduce its dependence on other nations, especially in strategic areas. Investment in research and development combined with state-of-the-art infrastructure could potentially strengthen China's position on the world stage, but it also contributes to economic growth and the advancement of science. However, there are still many challenges for China in order to realize this project.